Yo, what's up guys? Be by Haiti and yeah, in case this is your first time. And yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a big breakdown on how I remade this amazing song, Babylon by Patsawanki World Bears, featuring Vic Tony. Amazing song. So yeah, the first thing I did was getting the MP3, dragging it to my um, Ableton, and I used the Serato sampler. So what I just did was to drag in the wave into my Serato sampler, and that was how I was able to get the BPM and the key of the song. Is that simple, guys? So yeah, the first thing, uh, the other thing I did was like listening to the song and try to come up with a chord progression. And yeah, I'm using this grand piano for my entire one shot. If you still don't have this, yeah, you know. So and I just basically listened to the chord progression and I played this. And that was just basically what I played. And on my grand piano currently, I just added a finisher micro. And I just automated that because I, I noticed the beginning of the song had this um like a radio-like sound. So, so that was what the finisher micro I used it for the Earth 2 is. And I just simply right-click on this green spot and I just went to enable or show automation and then I reduced it. So yeah, after doing that, the next thing I did was to like listen to the guitar. There's this mute guitar that was being played. And for this one, I'm using the ampu guitar and I'm just using the, the semi-solo ampu guitar, the C bridge solo, that's what I'm using. And I increased the stereo to like 1.12. I increased the DI to like 2.00. Then I put this in this second side, which is the palm mute, because this is just like the sustain. This is what it sounds like on the sustain. It wasn't really what I was looking for. I was looking for that muted sound. So I just click on this palm mute. And for the um pitch, little pitch, I was just moving my pitch knob on my guitar, on my um MIDI keyboard. So when it gets to that, bum, 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 I just move my um pitch, like I move my pitch to give that little bit of um pitch tone. So after getting that, the next thing I did was adding like a CLA, and this is just basically to like bring, compress it and bring it up, like without the CLA too. With the CLA too. So he brought it up. I just bought up the volume. I didn't really touch it. I just dropped that. So, and on the EQ, I bought out a little bit of the high mid frequency part of it just to like give the little bit of um character, you know. And this is what it sounds like without the EQ. But with it. And I'm just basically playing the lead, the um bass note of the chord progression. That was just basically what I was playing. So yeah, after doing that, I needed a little bit of low end on the guitar. So I duplicated that with another guitar in same settings. Um, I just used the autumn leaves, increased the um DI to like 1.32, the stereo 1.78, and I just added this little bit of mute also. And this was just basically to give the little bit of low end. Is what it sounds like on its own. See, so it was just to give it low end. So after doing that, I was like, okay, cool. I think I already have what I was looking for. And for the soft guitar, I just used my soft guitar for my Asian attack kit one shot as well. And basically just vamping it, you know, like, you know. So that's basically what I did for that. And yeah, moving on to the drums. Yeah, you know, basic, simple drums. I'm using my HCM Boost Kick and all most of the sounds you hear are from my HCM Premium Kit that I used. And yeah, I just dropped in this nice bounce and there's no swing on this. And yeah. That just basically listening to what was played. And yeah, I added this conga and I did too. I added this high note and the low note to give it a little bit of body. And this is what it sounds like to get out with the drums. <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. 
So after doing that, I think I added a little bit of reverb to the conga. And the next thing I added was this right here. And this is my snare for still for my Hessian Easy. Um, I think this is from the Hessian Attire Kit Volume 3. And just to give it more body, you know. What I did here was adding um, a smack attack, you know, because I felt like it was too loose. Like without a smack attack, this is what it sounds like. With a smack attack. So I had to make it tight. So yeah. So moving on, the next thing I added was this distorted bass. And this is also from um, Eta KRT Premium. And yeah, they played two different kind of basses. That was what the producer played. And the first bass that was played sounds something like this with the drums. Yeah. Hey, and the next um, one that was played sounded just like this. Like really goofy. Really amazing. And yeah, together with the muted guitar, this is what you get. Really. And the part where Patuanki was singing, I think around this chorus side. So I added this sound here. And this sound is basically from Expand, and it is the electric blown, blown, and you get it from the police synth, you know, just click here, police synth, and look for electric blown. Amazing, man. They go to the goals. So you can see this is like a perfect example of less is more like few sounds was being played but the artist they carry the song shout out to patriwanki shout out to phantom the producer man this i i really really enjoyed we're making discs yeah so easy simple and victory man voice of an angel man so yeah this is just basically a simple simple beat breakdown tell me what other beat breakdown you want to see and i'm going to make it for you guys and show you the sounds that are being used until i catch you in the next video remember to stay positive and positive things will always always happen to you and if you want to use my sounds go get them on the description below peace